So our penultimate race of the day is race 36, a kinsman maiden hurdle over three mile two furlongs, quite a small field, Bumbell for Daniel French is number one, Corners Val for Derek Hinton is two, Original Sunny for Pontypool Racing is three, Western Junction for Darren Thompson is four, Chatter Sassons for Paul O'Neill is five, Lady Layla for Ryan Costello is six, Lady Monarch for Alex Cherry is seven, and the White Witch for Joshua Sutherland makes up eight, just eight of these uh, long distance hurdlers. Looking to win the Kinsman Maiden Hurdle. We get to the first of 16. We'll skip over that. They're settling down. Looking for position. Three greys in the race. A couple of uh, first time outers here as well. But it's Chater or Chatter Saisons that's going to lead us. The second. I hope. White Witch on his outside. There's the second. We'll skip over that. Corners foul towards rear for Del Hinton. Wide and uh, stepped over it. We'll past the grandstand. There's a finishing post. Two times more round chaps. And it is Chatter Sassons. My last con for the day. I'm going to drop down to the stable block. I'm going to saddle two runners in the last race of the day. Very small stable this year. Of two four mile horses. Really aiming for the Grand National. And a little bit of interest myself. I'm rather bullish about Born to Perform. He's a nine year old colt. He's a game bred. And uh, he does seem to like a drape. And you think four miles plus. So I'm hopeful of him. My other horse, Swift Breeze, not so good just put in there as so I can have two running in the national when we get there. Anyway, there are over four hurdles here. It's Chatter Sazons at Leeds from the White Witch in second. Lady Leda on his outside. Followed through by Bumbell Western Junction. Third of the Greys, Lady Monarch. And then we've got Original Sunny and Cornus Val. Stayed together here. There's a bit of wire fencing in the background there. It's electric fencing, keep the cows out. We'll keep the people in. Zzz, ah, don't get electrocuted. Then we'll go over the fifth. The one that didn't take it particularly well was Bumbell for Daniel French. Packed a bit on landing. Still on his feet. So they come down to the next. It's the six. And we'll skip over that as well. Nice jump there by original Sunny. And he had nowhere to go as Bumbell was in front of him. So we're still two miles to travel. It's Chatter Sassons from Lady Leda and the White Witch together. Uh, about two lengths back to Bun Belt. In the four corners Val just being pushed through now for a better position. It's still plenty of time here. It's Chatter Sassons from Lady Leda and the White Witch. Bun Belt, corners Val. Original Sunny, Western Junction and Lady Monarch. All together. It's Chatter Sassons. Been there since the beginning. Takes the eighth, a little bit slow over it. And bound Lady Layla. Ryan Costello to pull alongside. Lady Layla and Chatter Sassons. To a neck and neck. So come alongside the grandstand again. Shortly with a mile and a half to travel. Sassons and Lady Leda together. They're about four lengths away from the White Witch Bumbell and Coolness Vow. Didn't get over that particularly well. Moving on the outside, Lady Monarch. Just the two at the rear, but not really the rear. And Western Junction and Original Sunny. Get past the winning post. And the circuit to go. And we're still being led by Chatter. Chatter Sassons and Lady Leda together. The White Witch just tracking them all. A couple of lengths back to Bumbell. Ludlow, and all that big city is in the background. It's a metropolis. A little bit of change up front as Chatter Sazons takes on uh, on his own now. Oh, and the White Witch is gone. Oh, Josh Southern will be unhappy. The horse was running really well. Slips his jockey on a hurdle. Always frustrate him. With a mile to go. It's a little bit of a change, so Chatter Sazons is all outside on his own now. 
one has uh, dropped right back as Lady Layla. Now in the tail end, Charlie position. But in second, it's Western Junction with original Sonny on his outside. Links back to Corners Vow and Bumble against the Row. And Lady Monarch, as I said, was starting to lose Lady Layla. And they've lost the White Witch. So it's Chatter Sasson still leads by about five from Western Junction and original Sunny as they go over the 12th. Lady Layla, hope she's all right. She went from first to last very quick. So there's still got three to jump. There's little Lady Layla. And it's still Chatter Sasson's that leads us by about four to Western Junction. Original Sunny making up a bit of ground now to get in a better position as we come down to half a mile from home. We'll have to bridle all the leaders now. The one that's running particularly well is Western Junction. He moves over towards the fence, but it's Chatter Sasson still leads. Half a mile to go from Original Sunny, Western Junction, Bum Bell, Lady Monarch Corners, Vow. They're all off the bridle now and chasing this leader down as they go over the 14th. There's only two left to jump. It's Chatter Sasson's from Original Sunny. Western Junction's got a bit to do for from there as Lady Monarch and Bum Bell Corners Val just go, starts to go backwards and we lose him but it's Original Sunny that takes it up there inside the two and a half, gets over the penultimate jumps it well and starts to pull away, away from Chatter Sassons, our long time leader, running on well now is Western Junction, but they've got a lot to do to catch this leader, Original Sunny as he starts to pull away now, as he comes down to the next and it's Original Sunny, only one to jump and it's Original Sunny by about six or seven from Chatter Sassons, Western Junction, Bum Bell I can just see running on the outside is Lady Monarch it's going to be a comfortable win for the Pontypool Racing Stables of Graham Clutterbuck. President Numero Uno takes it comfortably from Western Junction in second. Third was a long time leader, Chatter Sazons. Lady Monarch may well have got up there for third. I'll wait for the replay. So, original Sunny takes it. Originally Sunny, originally the favourite, and originally the winner from Western Junction in second, Chatter Sassons. How on for third? And fourth was Lady Morix from Alex O'Neill. Alex Cherry, sorry, Paul O'Neill was Chatter Sassons was third. Bumble for Daniel French was fifth. And as I said, I'm going to let Martin take this last race of the day. I'm going to go down and give my jockey some instructions.